Occitan English, Occitan, UTSI TA, French, Kaysit, also known as Lenga Dioc Occitan, Li Eth, K, Listen, French, Long Dioc by its native speakers, is a Romance language. It is spoken in southern France, Italy's Occitan Valleys, Monaco, and Spain's Val d'Aran. Collectively, these regions are sometimes referred to as Occitania. Occitan is also spoken in the linguistic enclave of Guardia Piemontese Calabria, Italy. However, there is controversy about the unity of the language, as some think that Occitan is a macrolanguage. Others include Catalan in this family, as the distance between this language and some Occitan dialects such as the Gascon language is similar to the distance among different Occitan dialects. In fact, Catalan was considered an Occitan dialect until the end of the 19th century. Today, Occitan is an official language in Catalonia, where a subdialect of Gascon known as Aranese is spoken in the Val d'Aran. Occitan's closest relative is Catalan. Since September 2010, the Parliament of Catalonia has considered Aranese Occitan to be the officially preferred language for use in the Val d'Aran. Across history, the terms Limousine Lemosin, Languedocian Languedocian, Gascon, and later Provençal Provençal, Provencao or Provencao have been used as synonyms for the whole of Occitan, nowadays. Provençal is understood mainly as the Occitan dialect spoken in Provence, in southeast France. Unlike other Romance languages such as French or Spanish, there is no single written standard language called Occitan, and Occitan has no official status in France, home to most of Occitania. Instead, there are competing norms for writing Occitan, some of which attempt to be pan dialectal, whereas others are based on particular dialects. These efforts are hindered by the rapidly declining use of Occitan as a spoken language in much of southern France, as well as by the significant differences in phonology and vocabulary among different Occitan dialects. In particular, the northern and easternmost dialects have more morphological and phonetic features in common with the Gallo-Italic and oil languages e.g. nasal vowels, loss of final consonants, initial cha, ya instead of ca, ga, uvular r, the front rounded sound, o, instead of a diphthong, with instead of, l, before a consonant, whereas the southernmost dialects have more features in common with the Ibero-Romance languages e.g. Baeticism, voiced fricatives between vowels in place of voiced stops, ch in place of it. It, and Gascon has a number of unusual features not seen in other dialects e.g., h, in place of, f, loss of, n, between vowels, intervocalic r and final t per chain in place of medieval ll. There are also significant lexical differences, where some dialects have words cognate with French, and others have Catalan and Spanish cognates maison, casa, house, testa, cap, head, petite, pitchin, small, a chapter, crompar, to buy. Entendre, Osser, to hear, say ter, say calar, to be quiet, tombar, care, to fall, p, l, us, my, more, totjorn, sempre, always, etc. Nonetheless, there is a significant amount of mutual intelligibility. The long-term survival of Occitan is in grave doubt. According to the UNESCO Red Book of Endangered Languages, four of the six major dialects of Occitan Provençal, Overnat, Limousine and Languedocian are considered severely endangered, whereas the remaining two Gascon and Vivaro Alpine are considered definitely endangered. <laughs> Name History of the modern term The name Occitan comes from Langa Dioc, language of Oc, Oc being the Occitan word for yes. While the term would have been in use orally for some time after the decline of Latin, as far as historical records show, the Italian medieval poet Dante was the first to have recorded the term lingua dioc in writing. In his De Vulgari Eloquentia, he wrote in Latin. Nam ali o c, ali c, ali vero dicunt oil. For some say oc, others see, yet others say oil. Thereby highlighting three major Romance literary languages that were well known in Italy, based on each language's word for yes, the oc language, Occitan, the oil language, French, and the sea language, Sicilian and Italian. This was not, of course, the only defining characteristic of each group. The word oc came from Vulgar Latin hoc, this, while oil originated from Latin hoc illid, this is it. Old Catalan, and now the Catalan of northern Catalonia also have hoc, oc. 
Other Romance languages derive their word for yes from the Latin sic, thus, it is, it was done, etc., such as Spanish C, Eastern Lombard C, Sicilian and Italian C, or Portuguese Sim. In modern Catalan, as in modern Spanish, C is usually used as a response, although the language retains the word oi, akin to ok, which is sometimes used at the end of yes no questions, and also in higher register as a positive response. French uses C to answer yes in response to questions that are asked in the negative sense, e.g., vous n'avez pas de frères? C. Jean I sept. You have no brothers? Yes, I do, I have seven. The name, Occitan, was attested around 1300 as Occitanus, a crossing of OC and Aquitanus. Aquitanian. Other names for Occitan For many centuries, the Occitan dialects together with Catalan were referred to as Limousine or Provençal, after the names of two regions lying within the modern Occitan-speaking area. After Frederick Mistral's Filibrige movement in the 19th century, Provençal achieved the greatest literary recognition and so became the most popular term for Occitan. According to Joseph Anglade, a philologist and specialist of medieval literature who helped impose the then archaic term Occitan as the sole correct name, the word Lemosin was first used to designate the language at the beginning of the 13th century by Catalan troubadour Raymond Vidal de Besselu in his Razos de Trobar. La parladora Francesca Val Mais et S plus avenance of far romans e pastorellas, mas cella de lemos and Val Mais per far vers et cansons et serventes, et per todas las terras de nostre langage son de major autoritat li cantar de la lenga lemosina que de nagunotra parladora, per qui u vas en parlari primaramen. The French language is worthier and better suited for romances and pastorels, but that language from limousine is of greater value for writing poems and cancons and serventes. Days, and across the whole of the lands where our tongue is spoken, the literature in the Limousine language has more authority than any other dialect, wherefore I shall use this name in priority. As for the word Provençal, it should not be taken as strictly meaning the language of Provence, but of Occitania as a whole, for in the 11th, the 12th, and sometimes also the 13th centuries, one would understand under the name of Provence the whole territory of the old Provincia Romana and even Aquitaine. The term first came into fashion in Italy. Currently, linguists use the terms Provençal and Limousine strictly to refer to specific varieties within Occitania, keeping the name Occitan for the language as a whole. Many non specialists, however, continue to refer to the language as Provençal, causing some confusion. History One of the oldest written fragments of the language found dates back to 960, in an official text that was mixed with Latin, de Ista Hora in Antia non Decebra Ermengaeus Filius Eldiarda Froterio Episcopo Filio Gerberga ne Raimundo Filio Bernardo Viscomite de Castello de Cornuan. No lli tolra no lli devidera ni no lan Decebra. NEC Societatim non ora, si per Castellum recuperare non OFA, et si recuperare poterit in potestate froterio et Raimundo lo tornara, per ipsis oris que froterius et Raimundus lan comanra. Carolingian litanies c. 780, both written and sung in Latin, were answered to in Old Occitan by the audience ora pro nos, tu lo juva. Other famous pieces include the Boasis, a 258-line long poem written entirely in the Limousine dialect of Occitan between the year 1000 and 1030 and inspired by Boethius's The Consolation of Philosophy, the Waldensian La Nobla Lakesan dated 1100, Lacanco de Santa Fe c. 1054-1076, the Romance of Flamenca 13th century, The Song of the Albigensian Crusade 1213-1219, Doral e Beto 12th or 13th century, Las, Qui non son sparver, Astur 11th century, and Tomita Femina 9th or 10th century. Occitan was the vehicle for the influential poetry of the medieval troubadours trovadores and troberets. At that time, the language was understood and celebrated throughout most of educated Europe. It was the maternal language of the English Queen Eleanor of Aquitaine and Kings Richard I of England who wrote troubadour poetry and John, King of England. 
With the gradual imposition of French royal power over its territory, Occitan declined in status from the 14th century on. By the Ordinance of villers 1539, it was decreed that the Long d'Oil French, though at the time referring to the Francian language and not the larger collection of dialects grouped under the name Longs d'Oil should be used for all French administration. Occitan's greatest decline was during the French Revolution, during which diversity of language was considered a threat. In 1903 the four Gospels Le Evangelii i.e. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John were translated into the form of Provençal spoken in Can and Grass, this was given the official Roman Catholic imprimatur by A. Estellan, Vicar General, the literary renaissance of the late 19th century which included a Nobel Prize for Frederick Mistral was attenuated by World War I, when Occitan speakers spent extended periods of time alongside French-speaking comrades. Origins. <inaudible> <inaudible> Because the geographical territory in which Occitan is spoken is surrounded by regions in which other Romance languages are used, external influences could have influenced its origin and development. Many factors favored its development as a language of its own. Mountains and seas – The range of Occitan is bounded naturally by the Mediterranean Sea, the Atlantic Ocean, the Massif Central, the Pyrenees, and the Alps. Buffer zones, arid land, marshes, and areas otherwise impractical for farming and resistant of colonization provide further separation territory between Loire and Garonne, the Aragon Desert Plateau. Constant populations, some Occitan-speaking peoples are descended from people living in the region since prehistory. Little Celtic influence Ancient and long-term Roman influence, Julius Caesar once said that the people of Aquitaine could teach the Romans themselves to speak Latin more correctly. According to Muller, France's linguistic separation began with Roman influence. A separate lexicon, although Occitan is midway between the Gallo Romance and Iberian Romance languages, it has around 550 words inherited from Latin that do not exist in the Longs d'Oil or in Franco Provençal. Little Germanization. The Frankish lexicon and its phonetic influence often end above the OC, oil line. Occitan in the Iberian Peninsula Catalan in Spain's northern and central Mediterranean coastal regions and the Balearic Islands is closely related to Occitan, sharing many linguistic features and a common origin see Occitano Romance languages. The language was one of the first to gain prestige as a medium for literature among Romance languages in the Middle Ages. Indeed, in the 12th and 13th centuries, Catalan troubadours such as Guerau de Cabrera, Guilhem de Burgadin, Guilhem de Cabestany, Huguet de Mataplana, Raymond Vidal de Besselou, Cerveri de Girona, Format de Perpinhan, and Geoffrey de Foix wrote in Occitan. At the end of the 11th century, the Franks, as they were called at the time, started to penetrate the Iberian Peninsula through the ways of St. James via Somport and Roncesvalles, settling on various spots of the kingdoms of Navarre and Aragon enticed by the privileges granted them by the Navarrese kings. They established themselves in ethnic boroughs where Occitan was used for everyday life, e.g. Pamplona, Sangüesa, Estela Lazara, etc. The language in turn became the status language chosen by the Navarrese kings, nobility, and upper classes for official and trade purposes in the period stretching from the early 13th century to late 14th century. These boroughs in Navarre may have been close-knit communities with little mingling, in a context where the natural milieu was predominantly Basque-speaking. The variant chosen for written administrative records was a koiné based on the Languedocian dialect from Toulouse with fairly archaic linguistic features. Evidence of a written account in Occitan from Pamplona revolving around the burning of Burro San Nicolas from 1258 survives today, while the history of the War of Navarre by Guilhem Anelier albeit written in Pamplona shows a linguistic variant from Toulouse. Things turned out slightly otherwise in Aragon, where the sociolinguistic situation was different, with a clearer Basque Romance bilingual situation cf. Basques from the Val d'Aran cited c. 1000, but a receding Basque language Basque banned in the marketplace of Huesca, 1349. 
While the language was chosen as a medium of prestige in records and official statements along with Latin in the early 13th century, Occitan faced competition from the rising local Romance vernacular, the Navarro Aragonese, both orally and in writing, especially after Aragon's territorial conquests south to Zaragoza, Huesca, and Tadella between 1118 and 1134. It resulted that a second Occitan immigration of this period was assimilated by the similar Navarro Aragonese language, which at the same time was fostered and chosen by the kings of Aragon. The language fell into decay in the 14th century across the whole southern Pyrenean area and became largely absorbed into Navarro Aragonese first and Castilian later in the 15th century. After their exclusive boroughs broke up, 1423, Pamplona's boroughs unified. Gascon speaking communities were called in for trading purposes by Navarrese kings in the early 12th century to the coastal fringe extending from San Sebastian to the Bidasoa River, where they settled down. The language variant used was different from the ones used in Navarre, i.e. a Bayernese dialect of Gascon, with Gascon being in use far longer than in Navarre and Aragon until the 19th century, thanks mainly to the close ties held by Donostia and Pasea with Bayonne. Geographic <laughs> <laughs> distribution <laughs> 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 Usage in France Though it was still an everyday language for most of the rural population of southern France well into the 20th century, it is now spoken by about 100,000 people in France according to 2012 estimates. According to the 1999 census, there were 610,000 native speakers, almost all of whom are also native French speakers, and perhaps another million persons with some exposure to the language. Following the pattern of language shift, most of this remainder is to be found among the eldest populations. Occitan activists called Occitanists have attempted, in particular with the advent of Occitan language preschools the Calandretas, to reintroduce the language to the young. Nonetheless, the number of proficient speakers of Occitan is dropping precipitously. A tourist in the cities in southern France is unlikely to hear a single Occitan word spoken on the street or, for that matter, in a home, and is likely to only find the occasional vestige, such as street signs and, of those, most will have French equivalents more prominently displayed, to remind them of the traditional language of the area. Occitans, as a result of more than 200 years of condition suppression and humiliation see Virginia, seldom speak their own language in the presence of foreigners, whether they are from abroad or from outside Occitania in this case, often merely and abusively referred to as Parisians or Nordistes, which means northerners. Occitan is still spoken by many elderly people in rural areas, but they generally switch to French when dealing with outsiders. Occitan's decline is somewhat less pronounced in Bayern because of the province's history a late addition to the Kingdom of France, though even there the language is little spoken outside the homes of the rural elderly. The village of Artix is notable for having elected to post street signs in the local language. <laughs> Usage outside France In the Val d'Aran, in the northwest corner of Catalonia, Spain, Aranese a variety of Gascon is spoken. It is an official language of Catalonia together with Catalan and Spanish. In Italy, Occitan is also spoken in the Occitan Valleys Alps in Piedmont and Liguria. An Occitan-speaking enclave also has existed at Guardia Piemontes Calabria since the 14th century. Italy adopted in 1999 a linguistic minorities protection law, or Law 482, which includes Occitan, however, Italian is the dominant language. It should be noted that the Piedmontese language is extremely close to Occitan. In Monaco, some Occitan speakers coexist with remaining native speakers of Monegasque Ligurian. French is the dominant language. Scattered Occitan-speaking communities have existed in different countries. There were Occitan-speaking colonies in Württemberg Germany since the 18th century, as a consequence of the Camisard War. The last Occitan speakers were heard in the 1930s. In the Spanish Basque country, Gascon was spoken in the center of Donostia San Sebastián, perhaps until the beginning of the 20th century. In the Americas, Occitan speakers exist In the United States, in Valdez, North Carolina, in Canada, in Quebec where there are Occitan associations such as Association Occitane du Québec and Association des Occitans. 
Higüey, Argentina, community settled by 165 Occitans from the Rodez Aveyron area of Cantal in the late 19th century. Guanajuato, Mexico, a sparse number of Occitan settlers are known to have settled in that state in the 19th century. Topic: <laughs> Traditionally Occitan speaking areas. Aquitaine, excluding the Basque-speaking part of the Pyrenees Atlantiques in the western part of the department and a small part of Gironde where the Long Dioil saint ingeis dialect is spoken. Midi Pyrenees, including one of France's largest cities, Toulouse. There are a few street signs in Toulouse in Occitan, and since late 2009 the Toulouse Metro announcements are bilingual French Occitan, but otherwise the language is almost never heard spoken on the street. Languedoc Roussillon from Langa Dioc including the areas around the medieval city of Carcassonne, excluding the large part of the Pyrenees Orientales where Catalan is spoken Fenalajeda is the only Occitan-speaking area of the Pyrenees Orientales. Provence-Alpes-Côte d'Azur, except for the Roya and Bevera valleys, where there is a transitional dialect between Ligurian and Occitan, Royasque, including the Brigasque dialect of Ligurian. In the Department of Alps Maritimes there were once isolated towns that spoke Ligurian, but those varieties are now extinct. The Mentonasque dialect of Ligurian, spoken in Menton, is a Ligurian transition dialect with a strong Occitan influence. In Monaco, Occitan, imported by immigrants coexisted in the 19th and 20th centuries with the Monegasque dialect of Ligurian. French is the dominant language. Poitou Charente's use of Occitan has declined here in the few parts it used to be spoken, replaced by French. Only Charente Limousine, the eastern part of the region, has resisted. The natural and historical languages of most of the region are the Longs d'Oil Poitevin and saint -Ingais. Limousine, a rural region about 710,000 inhabitants where Limousine is still spoken among the oldest residents. Auvergne, the language's use has declined in some urban areas. The department of Allier is divided between a southern, Occitan-speaking area and a northern, French-speaking area. Centre Val de Loire, some villages in the extreme south speak Occitan. Rhône-Alpes, while the south of the region is clearly Occitan-speaking, the central and northern Lyonnais, Forez and Dauphiné parts belong to the Franco-Provençal language area. Occitan Valleys Piedmont, Italian region where Occitan is spoken only in the southern and central Alpine valleys. Val d'Aran, part of Catalonia that speaks a mountain dialect of Gascon. Topic: <inaudible> Number of speakers. The area where Occitan was historically dominant has approximately 16 million inhabitants. Recent research has shown it may be spoken as a first language by approximately 789,000 people in France, Italy, Spain and Monaco. In Monaco, Occitan coexists with Monegasque Ligurian, which is the other native language. Some researchers state that up to 7 million people in France understand the language, whereas 12 to 14 million fully spoke it in 1921. In 1860, Occitan speakers represented more than 39% of the whole French population, 52% for Francophones proper. They were still 26% to 36% in the 1920s and fewer than 7% in 1993. Topic. Dialects Occitan is fundamentally defined by its dialects, rather than being a unitary language. That point is very conflictual in southern France, as many people do not recognize Occitan as a real language and think that the next defined dialects are languages. Like other languages that fundamentally exist at a spoken, rather than written, level e.g. the Rato romance languages, Franco-Provençal, Asturlianese, and Aragonese, every settlement technically has its own dialect, with the whole of Occitania forming a classic dialect continuum that changes gradually along any path from one side to the other. Nonetheless, specialists commonly divide Occitan into six main dialects. Gascon, includes the Bayernese and Aranese spoken in Spain. Languedocian, Languedocian Limousine, Limousin, Auvernat, Auvernat Provençal, Provencal or Provencal, including the Nicard subdialect. Shuadit language Vivaro Alpine, Vivaro Alpine, also known as Alpine 
or Alpine Provençal, and sometimes considered a subdialect of Provençalgascon, is the most divergent, and descriptions of the main features of Occitan often consider Gascon separately. Max Wheeler notes that Probably only its ca presence within the French cultural sphere has kept Gascon from being regarded as a separate language, and compares it to Franco Provençal, which is considered a separate language from Occitan but is probably not more divergent from Occitan overall than Gascon is. There is no general agreement about larger groupings of these dialects. Max Wheeler divides the dialects into two groups. Southwestern Gascon and Languedocian, more conservative. Northeastern Limousine, Overnat, Provençal and Vivaro Alpine, more innovative. Pierre Beck divides the dialects into three groups: Gascon, standing alone; Southern Occitan, Languedocian and Provençal; Northern Occitan, Limousine, Overnat, Vivaro Alpine. Beck also notes that some linguists prefer a superdialectal. Classification that groups Occitan with Catalan as a part of a wider Occitano-Romanic group. One such classification posits three groups. Arverno-Mediterranean, Arverno-Mediterranean, same as Wheeler's northeastern group, i.e. Limousine, Overnat, Provençal, and Vivaro Alpine. Central Occitan, Occitan Central, Languedocian, accepting the southern Languedocian subdialect. Aquitano-Pyrenean. Aquitano Pyrenink, Southern Languedocian, Gascon, and Catalan. According to this view, Catalan is an Osbau language that became independent from Occitan during the 13th century, but originates from the Aquitano Pyrenean group. Domerg Sumian proposes a slightly different superdialectal grouping. Arverno Mediterranean, Arverno Mediterranean, same as in Beck and Wheeler, divided further. Nickard Alpine, Nicardoapink, Vivaro Alpine, along with the Nickard subdialect of Provençal, Trans Occitan, Trans Occitan, the remainder of Provençal, along with Limousine and Overnat, Pre Iberian, Priberic, Central Occitan, Occitan Central, same as in Beck, Aquitano Pyrenean, Aquitano Pyrenink, same as in Beck. Topic: Codification. Topic. Standardization All these regional varieties of the Occitan language are written and valid. Standard Occitan, also called Occitan Larg i.e., Wide Occitan is a synthesis that respects and admits soft regional adaptations which are based on the convergence of previous regional coiness. So Occitan can be considered as a pluricentric language. The standardization process began with the publication of Grammatica Occitana Segan Los Parlors Languedocians, Grammar of the Languedocian Dialect, by Louis Alibert, 1935, followed by the Dictionnaire Occitan Francais Selin Les Parlors Languedocians, French Occitan Dictionary According to Languedocian, by the same author, 1966, completed during the 1970s with the works of Pierre Beck, Gascon, Robert Lafont, Provençal, and others. But it has not been achieved yet. It is mostly supported by users of the classical norm. Due to the strong situation of diglossia, some users still reject the standardization process and do not conceive Occitan as a language that could work just as other standardized languages. Writing system There are two main linguistic norms currently used for Occitan, one known as classical which is based on that of medieval Occitan, and one sometimes known as Mistralian, due to its use by Frederick Mistral, which is based on modern French orthography. Sometimes, there is conflict between users of each system. The classical norm, or less exactly classical orthography, has the advantage of maintaining a link with earlier stages of the language, and reflects the fact that Occitan is not a variety of French. It is used in all Occitan dialects. It also allows speakers of one dialect of Occitan to write intelligibly for speakers of other dialects e.g. the Occitan for day is written Jorn in the classical norm, but could be Jor, Jun, Jern, or even Jorn, depending on the writer's origin, in Mistralian orthography. The Occitan classical orthography and the Catalan orthography are quite similar, they show the very close ties of both languages. 
The digraphs LH and NH, used in the classical orthography, were adopted by the orthography of Portuguese, presumably by Gerald of Braga, a monk from Moisic, who became Bishop of Braga in Portugal in 1047, playing a major role in modernising written Portuguese using classical Occitan norms. The Mistralian norm or less exactly Mistralian orthography has the advantage of being similar to that of French, in which most Occitan speakers are literate. Now, it is used mostly in the Provençal, Nicard dialect, besides the classical norm. It has also been used by a number of eminent writers, particularly in Provençal. However, it is somewhat impractical, because it is based mainly on the Provençal dialect and also uses many digraphs for simple sounds, the most notable one being O for the U sound, as it is in French, written as O under the classical orthography. There are also two other norms but they have a lesser audience. The Escola do Po norm, or Escola do po norm is a simplified version of the Mistralian norm and is used only in the Occitan valleys Italy, besides the classical norm. The Bonaudian norm or Acriture Overnet Unifié, O was created by Pierre Bonneau and is used only in the Overnat dialect, besides the classical norm. Note that that Catalan version was translated from the Spanish, while the Occitan versions were translated from the French. The second part of the Catalan version may also be rendered as Sun dotatus de rau i de conscientia, i else cal actuar entre camb un esperit de fraternitat, showing the similarities between Occitan and Catalan. <laughs> Debates concerning linguistic classification and orthography The majority of scholars think that Occitan constitutes a single language. Some authors, constituting a minority, reject this opinion and even the name Occitan, thinking that there is a family of distinct languages dioc rather than dialects of a single language. Many Occitan linguists and writers, particularly those involved with the Pan-Occitan movement centered on the Institut d'Estudis Occitans, disagree with the view that Occitan is a family of languages and think that Limousine, Overnat, Languedocian, Gascon, Provençal and Vivaro Alpine are dialects of a single language. Although there are indeed noticeable differences between these varieties, there is a very high degree of mutual intelligibility between them, they also share a common literary history, and in academic and literary circles, have been identified as a collective linguistic entity, the Langa Dioc, for centuries. Some Provençal authors continue to support the view that Provençal is a separate language. Nevertheless, the vast majority of Provençal authors and associations think that Provençal is a part of Occitan. This debate about the status of Provençal should not be confused with the debate concerning the spelling of Provençal. The classical orthography is phonemic and diasystemic, and thus more pan-Occitan. It can be used for and adapted to all Occitan dialects and regions, including Provençal. Its supporters think that Provençal is a part of Occitan. The Mistralian orthography of Provençal is more or less phonemic but not diasystemic and is closer to the French spelling and therefore more specific to Provençal. Its users are divided between the ones who think that Provençal is a part of Occitan and the ones who think that Provençal is a separate language, for example, the classical system writes Polona, whereas the Mistralian spelling system has Pulunio, for Puluo, Poland. The question of Gascon is similar. Gascon presents a number of significant differences from the rest of the language, but, despite these differences, Gascon and other Occitan dialects have very important common lexical and grammatical features, so authors such as Pierre Beck argue that they could never be considered as different as, for example, Spanish and Italian. In addition, Gascon's being included in Occitan despite its particular differences can be justified because there is a common elaboration process between Gascon and the rest of Occitan. The vast majority of the Gascon cultural movement considers itself as a part of the Occitan cultural movement. And the official status of Val d'Aran Catalonia, Spain, adopted in 1990, says that Aranese is a part of Gascon and Occitan. A Grammar of Aranese by Eider Carrera, published in 2007 in Leda, presents the same view. The exclusion of Catalan from the Occitan sphere, even though Catalan is closely related, is justified because there has been a consciousness of its being different from Occitan since the later Middle Ages and because the elaboration processes of Catalan and Occitan including Gascon have been quite distinct since the 20th century. 
Nevertheless, other scholars point out that the process that led to the affirmation of Catalan as a distinct language from Occitan started during the period when the pressure to include Catalan speaking areas in a mainstream Spanish culture was at its greatest. The answer to the question of whether Gascon or Catalan should be considered dialects of Occitan or separate languages has long been a matter of opinion or convention, rather than based on scientific ground. However, two recent studies support Gascons being considered a distinct language. For the very first time, a quantifiable, statistics-based approach was applied by Stefan Koppelberg in an attempt to solve this issue. Based on the results he obtained, he concludes that Catalan, Occitan, and Gascon should all be considered three distinct languages. More recently, Y. Groib and J. P. Chambon Sorbonne University, Paris demonstrated that the formation of Proto-Gascon was already complete at the eve of the 7th century, whereas Proto-Occitan was not yet formed at that time. These results induced linguists to do away with the conventional classification of Gascon, favoring the distinct language alternative. Both studies supported the early intuition of late Kurt Baldinger, a specialist of both medieval Occitan and medieval Gascon, who recommended that Occitan and Gascon be classified as separate languages. However, this statement hurts the Occitanist doctrine, which states as one of its fundamental dogmas, that Gascon is a dialect of Occitan, so linguists of the Occitanist movement tend not to take these studies into account. <laughs> <laughs> Linguistic characterization Jules Ronjot has sought to characterize Occitan by 19 principal criteria, as generalized as possible. Of those, eleven are phonetic, five morphologic, one syntactic, and two lexical. Close rounded vowels are rare or absent in Occitan. This characteristic often carries through to an Occitan speaker's French, leading to a distinctive meridional accent. Unlike French, it is a pro-drop language, allowing the omission of the subject candy, I sing, quand she sing. Among these 19 discriminating criteria, 7 are different from Spanish, 8 from Italian, 12 from Franco-Provençal, and 16 from French. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Features of Occitan. Most features of Occitan are shared with either French or Catalan or both. Topic: <laughs> Features of Occitan as a whole Examples of Pan-Occitan features shared with French, but not Catalan Latin U, U Vulgar Latin, U, change to, Y, as in French lot, dervum greater than OC, dur. Vulgar Latin, O, change to, U, first in unstressed syllables, as in Catalan lot, Romanvis greater than OC, Roman Ruma, then in stressed syllables lot, Florum greater than OC, Flor flu. Examples of Pan-Occitan features shared with Catalan, but not French. Stressed Latina was preserved lot, Mare greater than OC, Mar, Fr, Mer. Intervocalic T was lenited to D rather than lost lot vitam greater than OC vita FR vi examples of pan occitan features not shared with catalan or french original a preserved final a becomes note in valencian catalan may appear in word final unstressed position in a process of vowel harmony low mid and diphthongized before velars generally becomes j originally became w or w but has since usually undergone further fronting eg to wo o etc diphthongization also occurred before palatals as in french and catalan various assimilations in consonant clusters eg cc in occitan pronounced utsi ta in conservative languedocian Topic features of some Occitan dialects Examples of dialect-specific features of the northerly dialects shared with French, but not Catalan, palatalization of ca, ga to, ta, da. Vocalization of syllable final, l, to, with. Loss of final consonants. Vocalization of syllable final nasals to nasal vowels. Uvularization of some or all R sounds, examples of dialect-specific features of the Southerly dialects or some of them shared with Catalan, but not French, Latin MB, ND become per meter, N. Beticism, B, and, V, merge feature shared with some Catalan dialects, except for Balearic, Valencian and Algaris Catalan, where, V, is preserved. Intervocalic voiced stops, BD, from Latin P, T, C become voiced fricatives, beta, 
Loss of word final single, n, but not, nn, e.g. an year Latin initial, f, changed into, h, lot, fill of greater than gask, hill. This also happened in medieval Spanish, although the, h, was eventually lost, or reverted to, f, before a consonant. The Gascon h has retained its aspiration. Loss of, n, between vowels. This also happened in Portuguese and Galician and moreover also in Basque. Change of ll to r, or th word finally originally the voiceless palatal stop, c, but now generally either, t, or, t, depending on the word. This is a unique characteristic of Gascon and of certain Aragonese dialects. Examples of other dialect specific features not shared with French or Catalan, merging of syllable final nasals to. This appears to represent a transitional stage before nasalization, and occurs especially in the southerly dialects other than Gascon, which still maintains different final nasals, as in Catalan. Former intervocalic from Latin d becomes z, most dialects, but not Gascon. This appears to have happened in primitive Catalan as well, but Catalan later deleted this sound or converted it to with. Palatalization of jt, from Latin court to t, in most dialects or jt, latch versus lay, Gascon late, milk, lucha versus luta, Gascon luta fight. Weakening of l to r, in the Vivaro Alpine dialect. Topic. Comparison with other Romance languages in English Lexicon A comparison of terms and word counts between languages is not easy, as it is impossible to count the number of words in a language. See Lexicon, Lexeme, Lexicography for more information. Some have claimed around 450,000 words exist in the Occitan language, a number comparable to English the Webster's Third New International Dictionary, unabridged with 1993 addenda reaches 470,000 words, as does the Oxford English Dictionary, second edition. The Merriam-Webster website estimates that the number is somewhere between 250,000 and 1 million words. The magazine Geo 2004, p. 79, claims that American English literature can be more easily translated into Occitan than French, excluding modern technological terms that both languages have integrated. A comparison of the lexical content can find more subtle differences between the languages. For example, Occitan has 128 synonyms related to cultivated land, 62 for wetlands, and 75 for sunshine Geo. The language went through an eclipse during the Industrial Revolution, as the vocabulary of the countryside became less important. At the same time, it was disparaged as a patois. Nevertheless, Occitan has also incorporated new words into its lexicon to describe the modern world. The Occitan word for web is obe, for example. One interesting and useful feature of the Occitan language is its virtually infinite ability to create new words through a number of interchangeable and embeddable suffixes, giving the original terms a whole array of semantic nuances. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Differences between Occitan and Catalan. The separation of Catalan from Occitan is seen by some as largely politically rather than linguistically motivated. However, the variety that has become standard Catalan differs from the one that has become standard Occitan in a number of ways. Here are just a few examples. Phonology Standard Catalan based on Central Eastern Catalan is unique in that Latin short e developed into a closed vowel, e, a, and Latin long e developed into an open vowel, E, that is precisely the reverse of the development that took place in Western Catalan dialects and the rest of the Romance languages, including Occitan. Thus standard Catalan esser s corresponds to Occitan esser, estra se, stre, to be, Catalan carrer k -re corresponds to Occitan carriera car jo, street, but it is also carriera car jo, in Provençal. The distinctly Occitan development of word final a, pronounced o, in standard Occitan chifra figure tifro, did not occur in general Catalan which has xifra ifer. However, some Occitan varieties also lack that feature, and some Catalan Valencian varieties have the pronunciation, mostly by vowel harmony. When in Catalan word stress falls in the antepenultimate syllable, in Occitan the stress is moved to the penultimate syllable, for example, Occitan pagina versus Catalan pagina page. 
However, some varieties of Occitan such as around nice keep the stress on the antepenultimate syllable Pagina, and some varieties of Catalan in northern Catalonia put the stress on the penultimate syllable Pagina. Diphthongization has evolved in different ways, Occitan pair versus Catalan pair father, Occitan carriera carrera, carrera versus Catalan carrera. Some Occitan dialects lack the voiceless postalveolar fricative phoneme but southwestern Occitan has it, general Occitan Kaisa Kaiso, versus Catalan Kaisa ka, and southwestern Occitan Kaisa Kaisa ka, J, o, box. .Nevertheless, some Valencian dialects like Northern Valencian lack that phoneme too and generally substitute, J.S. Kaisa Kaja, Standard Valencian tilde, Kaisa Northern Valencian. Occitan has developed the close front rounded vowel, y, as a phoneme, often but not always corresponding to Catalan, u, Occitan musica maizico, versus Catalan musica music. The distribution of palatal consonants, and, differs in Catalan and part of Occitan, while Catalan permits them in word final position, in central Occitan they are neutralized to l and n central Occitan filh fil versus Catalan fil phi, son. Non-central varieties of Occitan, however, might have a palatal realization e.g. filh, hill, phi, fij, hi. However, Algaris Catalan neutralizes palatal consonants in word final position as well. Also, many words that start with l in Occitan start with in Catalan, Occitan libre li beta e versus Catalan libra i beta, book, that is perhaps one of the most distinctive characteristics of Catalan amongst the Romance languages, shared only with Asturian, Leonese and Mirandes. However, some transitional varieties of Occitan, near the Catalan area, also have initial While, l, is always clear in Occitan, in Catalan it tends to be velarized. Dark l. In coda position, L has tended to be vocalized to W in Occitan, while remained dark in Catalan. Standard Eastern Catalan has a neutral vowel, whenever a or e occur in unstressed position, pasar, pisa, to happen, but pasa, pa, it happens, and also u whenever o or u occur in unstressed position, e.g. obrier, u beta i, to open, but ober, beta, u open. However, that does not apply to Western Catalan dialects, whose vowel system usually retains the a-e distinction in unstressed position, or to Northern Catalan dialects, whose vowel system does not retain the o-u distinction in stressed position, much like Occitan. Morphology Verb conjugation is slightly different, but there is a great variety amongst dialects. Medieval conjugations were much closer. A characteristic difference is the ending of the second person plural, which is U in Catalan but TZ in Occitan. Occitan tends to add an analogical A to the feminine forms of adjectives that are invariable in standard Catalan, for example, Occitan legal, legal a versus Catalan legal, legal. Catalan has a distinctive past tense formation, known as the periphrastic preterite, formed from a variant of the verb to go, followed by the infinitive of the verb, donner, to give, va donner, he gave, that has the same value as the normal preterite shared by most Romance languages, deriving from the Latin perfect tense, Catalan dona, he gave, the periphrastic preterite, in Occitan, is an archaic or a very local tense. Orthography The writing systems of the two languages differ slightly. The modern Occitan spelling recommended by the Institut d'Estudis Occitans and the Consul de la Lenga Occitana is designed to be a pan-Occitan system, and the Catalan system recommended by the Institut d'Estudis Catalans and Academia Valenciana de la Lengua is specific to Catalan and Valencian. For example, in Catalan, word final n is omitted, as it is not pronounced in any dialect of Catalan Catala, Occita, Central Occitan also drops word final n, but it is retained in the spelling, as some Eastern and Western dialects of Occitan still have it Catalan, Occitan. Some digraphs are also written in a different way such as the sound which is LL in Catalan similar to Spanish and LH in Occitan similar to Portuguese or the sound written NY in Catalan and NH in Occitan. Topic. Occitano Romance Linguistic Group Despite these differences, Occitan and Catalan remain more or less mutually comprehensible, especially when written more so than either is with Spanish or French, for example, although this is mainly a consequence of using the classical orthographical norm of the Occitan, which is precisely focused in showing the similarities between the Occitan dialects with Catalan. 
Occitan and Catalan form a common diasystem or a common absprache, which is called Occitano Romance, according to the linguist Pierre Beck. Speakers of both languages share early historical and cultural heritage. The combined Occitano Romance area is 259,000 square kilometers and represents 23 million speakers. However, the regions are not equal in terms of language speakers. According to Beck 1969 pp. 120-121, in France, no more than a quarter of the population in counted regions could speak Occitan well, though around half understood it. It is thought that the number of Occitan users has decreased dramatically since then. By contrast, in the Catalonia administered by the government of Catalonia, nearly three quarters of the population speak Catalan and 95% understand it. Topic: <inaudible> Occitan quotes. One of the most notable passages of Occitan in Western literature occurs in the 26th canto of Dante's Purgatorio in which the troubadour Arnaud Daniel responds to the narrator Tan mabellus voster cortes demon, qui u no mi puesque ni voil a vos cobrier. U sue Arnaud, que plor e vau canton, conciros vei la posada fuller, e vei jousen lo joy kesper, dinan. Era vos prec, per Achaea valor, que vos gita al som de lesclina, sovenha vos attempts de ma dolor. Modern Occitan, tan ma abilis vostra cortesa demanda, que u non padi ni voli mamager de vos. Usoir na, que plori e vau cantant, conciros vesi la folia passata, e vesi joyos lo jorn casperic, devant. Era vos pregui, per aquela valor, que vos gita al som de l'escalier, sovenhats vos tot cop de ma dolor. The above strophe translates to So pleases me your courteous demand, I cannot and I will not hide me from you. I am Arna, who weep and singing go, contrite I see the folly of the past, and joyous see the hoped for day before me. Therefore do I implore you, by that power, which guides you to the summit of the stairs, be mindful to assuage my suffering. Another notable Occitan quotation, this time from Arna Daniel's own tenth canto. You sway Arna quamas Laura. E chats la labra ab lo bo. E nadi contra suburna. Modern Occitan. Usoi Arna kemi Laura. E cachi chachi la labra amb lo bo. E nadi contra suburna, translation I am Arna who loves the wind and chases the hare with the ox and swims against the torrent. French writer Victor Hugo's classic Les Miserables also contains some Occitan. In Part 1, First Book, Chapter 4, Les Herves Semblables Ox Paroles, one can read about Monsignor Bienvenu. Ne provincial, il s'étaït facilement familiarisé avec tous les patois du midi. Il de se, e ben, monsieur, sets sagat, come dans le bas Languedoc. Ont anarats passar, come dans les bases Alpes. Porti un bon moton amb un bon formage gras, come dans la hot dauphiné. Parlant tout les langues, il entrait dans tout les aims. Translation. Born a Provençal, he easily familiarized himself with the dialect of the South. He would say, E ben, monsieur, set sagat? As in lower Languedoc, ont anarats passar. As in the bases Alps, porti un bon moton amb un bon formage gras is in upper Dauphiné. As he spoke all tongues, he entered into all hearts. E. Ben, Monsieur, set sagat, so, Mr., everything's fine? Ont anarats passar, which way will you go? Porti un bon moton amb un bon formage gras, I brought some fine mutton with a fine fat cheese. The Spanish playwright Lope de Rueda included a Gascon servant for comical effect in one of his short pieces, La Generosa Paliza, John Barnes's Thousand Cultures Science Fiction Series, A Million Open Doors, 1992, Earth Made of Glass, 1998, The Merchants of Souls, 2001, and The Armies of Memory, 2006, features Occitan. So does the 2005 best-selling novel Labyrinth by English author Kate Moss. It is set in Carcassonne, where she owns a house and spends half of the year. The French composer Joseph Cantalobe created five sets of folk songs entitled Songs of the Auvergne, in which the lyrics are in the Auvergne dialect of Occitan. 
The orchestration strives to conjure vivid pastoral scenes of yesteryear. Michael Crichton features Occitan in his timeline novel. See also Bio Languages of France Languages of Italy Languages of Spain Occitan Cross Occitan Cuisine History of the Basque Language Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Anglade, Joseph 1921 Grammaire de l'Anxion Provençal au Ancien Langue d'Oc, Phonétique et Morphologie in French, Paris, C. Klinksieck. Backer, Louis de 1860. Grammaire comparé des langues de la France, par Louis de Becker. Flamand, Allemand, Celto-Breton, Basque, Provençal, Espagnol, Italian, Français, Comparés au Sanskrit in French, Paris, C. Blériot. Beck, Pierre 1963. La langue occitane. Que sais-je? 1059 in French, Paris, Presses Universitaires de France. Beck, Pierre 1973. Manuel Préique d'Occitan Moderna in French. Paris, A. and J. Picard. Carrera, Eider 2007. Grammatica Aranisa in Occitan. Leda, Pages Editors. ISBN 978-84-9779-484-8. Gossen, Yvonne 1927. Du fédéralisme de Proudhon au filibrige de Mistral in French. Nimes, A. Chastanier. Kremnitz, Georg 2002. Une approche sociolinguistique. In Kirsch, Fritz Peter, Kremnitz, Georg, Schlieben Lang, Bridget. Petite histoire sociale de la langue occitane, usages, images, literature, grammaires et dictionnaires in French. Chabrant, Catherine Trans. Canet, France, Trabucaire. ISBN 978-2-912966-59-9, Smith, Nathaniel B., Bergen, Thomas Goddard An Old Provençal Primer. New York, Garland. ISBN 0-8240-9030-6. Topic external links Orbalit.com – Overview and Grammar of Occitan Occitanit.free.fr – A Guide to the Language Globegate.utm.edu – Troubadour and Early Occitan Literature Ostaldocitania.net – The House of Occitan Associations of Toulouse Eonet.ne – Lex Romedic, Electronic Version of Lexique Roman of Renouard – A Provisional Version is Available – Aerolimacin. FR – Occitan Limousine Group Website with Maps and Vocabulary.